please allow me to give you civilians a quick recap of National Guard involvement in Ferguson, Missouri. Now, the governor called to have the National Guard deployed to Ferguson, Missouri, but he did not inform the White House of his intent. So, when it was made public, oh, the National Guard is going to Ferguson, Missouri. Of course, the Commanding General got a call from the White House with his orders, right? Which more than likely stated, your mission is to protect the command center in Fer Ferguson, Missouri and the occupants within. You will not have your troops engaging the crowd. More than likely that's what happened. And that explains to you civilians why all of the people that you're seeing in riot gear and all of this, they're police officers. If you all haven't noticed, now that they've zoomed in on everybody, do you see anybody wearing material that looks like this? Is anybody in a, in a doggone uniform and the material looks like this? No, they're not. So, the National Guardsmen are not out there dealing with the public. They're not. That's not their baby, not their ball. Because that would really make the military look bad. That would give them a black eye. And the Army, my Army, is not going to get a black eye because of a shithead police officer in Ferguson, Missouri and a governor that just don't know what else to do. Can't control the situation, don't know what else to do. We'll call in the big guns. Yeah, you can, but those big guns still have to follow orders. The orders of the President of the United States of America. That is why you all do not see anyone wearing those type of uniforms in riot gear. Not to mention, uh, military personnel do not wear civilian riot gear when we're doggone uh, dispatched, deployed anywhere in the world. So, I just want to hip you civilians up on what's going on. Because a lot of facts are not being stated on CNN just yet, but CNN is letting Ferguson, Missouri have it in the worst way. Deuces!